Hello and welcome to the 26th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at range-based loops. A range-based loop uh, has a slightly different syntax which is used to loop through basically ranges of data instead of um, looping based around a condition. So let's show you how to use a range-based loop. And in many ways you can just use a regular loop and make it do the same thing as a range based loop, but you have to do a lot of extra stuff yourself. And if this is all you're going to be doing uh, for this particular ins that particular instance, then a range based loop is best. So, what we're going to do first is in include string header because we're going to be just looping through a string. I'm going to do string str. I forgot to ask, add the std namespace string. STR and we are just going to simply assign it the value hello world and what we're going to do is for so the syntax is for like a for loop but inside instead of doing the first statement which is setting up any variables the second statement which is the condition the first statement which is usually like incrementing or decrementing the variable manipulating them somehow and uh, what you just do is do like char see because a string is made up of characters like h is the character l is the character space is the character yes even space is a character and you do colon str so basically what this means is you'll loop through this and every time you loop through it c will be the next character in the string called str which is well this one here and what we're going to do is do std c out and we are simply going to print out c std and line and then if we just run it we have hello will print it out but because obviously, per new line, the character there, or a new line, part of the standard name space, is put each character on a new line. But yeah, it's allowed us to loop through it and get every single character instead of trying to set up an incrementer, getting the length of the string, then uh, getting a particular position in the string based on a, our iterator. It, this is just a lot easier. But obviously, as you can see, it's a lot more limited compared to a for loop and you generally wouldn't substitute this for a lot of for loops it's just well a range based for loop and that is it for this tutorial if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sound.systems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video just directly message us via youtube as well in the next part we'll be looking at the go to statement all the required links for source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a nice day